Alright, today in Photoshop I'm going to teach you how to use the pen tool. Alright, you can download and follow along um, by going to techbloom.org. First of all, to uh, the pen tool is located right here, you can press the letter P and <clears throat> make sure that you're on pass. You have shape layers and then you have your pass layer. Well, what the shape layer will do is it will actually start filling in that shape with that color right here. So if I was to uh, just go around the car right now, you'd notice um, that it would start filling in. And there it goes. So I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to actually make a selection of this car. And the pen tool is really great for that. There's a lot of things you can do with the pen tool. So let me just go back here. So first thing, grab the pen tool. And then next, go ahead and go over to the paths up here. And we are actually going to start making a selection of our car. Now here's how you use the pen tool. You'll choose your first point um, using the left click on your mouse. Now you can let go. When you choose your second point, click but hold down and do not let go. So you're going to keep holding left click because once you let go, then your path is pretty much locked in. Of course, you can edit that with these uh, handles right here. So I'm going to go back. So what I'm going to do is I'll choose my second point, holding down left click, and then what I'll do is I'll try to match that path. And um, I can drag outward from this uh, point that I clicked, and that will change the curve. The more uh, out I drag, then the curve changes. And then, you know, if I wanted to go straight up, so just kind of mess around with it. Don't let go until you have that curve pretty much well adjusted and conform to the shape of your car. So that's pretty good. And then I can continue on. So I'll pick another point. And I'll drag about right there. And if you press the Alt key on your keyboard and click that point, that will basically let you start your uh, curve over again. So if I click Alt, now I can continue uh, with my curve and that was a uh, and that was a perfect example of using the alt key because if I didn't press alt let me go back then my curve you see it's it's a lot harder to conform it to that path so um, pressing the alt key allows me to end my path and basically start a new one so press the alt key and then I'm just going to continue um, using the pen tool to make my selection And the pen tool does take some practice, so I recommend um, this is actually a good photo to practice with. And once again, you can download this photo um, from techblue.org and the ebook, which goes into a lot more detail of how to actually use the pen tool. So I'm just going to continue making the selection and show you how it's done. Um, like I said, the more you practice with the pen tool, the better you will get with it. And uh, it's great for making selections, shape fills, and it can quickly become your favorite tool in Photoshop. You can use it to just for just about anything. My personal favorite, though, like I said, um, just mentioned, was making selections. Uh, However, it really depends. The pen tool is useful in a case like this because you see how the colors are very similar to the car. Making a selection of this with uh, tools such as the um, magic wand tool or quick selection tool would be a lot harder. So I'd recommend using the pen tool in a case like this. However, there are times when the quick selection tool, such as when you have solid background colors, um, that becomes a lot easier for you to use. And I know I'm not... Uh, being too accurate with the pen tool right now. I'm just kind of get this, trying to get this done for the sake of this video. So just uh, ignore my um, mistakes. So I'm almost done. I'm almost back to my beginning point, and I'll show you how we actually finish that off here. Okay, so that's not very good. Now, once I've made my selection. I, will, I can right click right here and I can go to make selection. From here I could also fill path or stroke path, but I want to make selection. And I'm just going to leave the radius and everything on its defaults. Click OK. Now this layer is locked. By default your background layer is locked, but you can unlock the background layer. I should have made a copy of it. 
by uh, alt double clicking. Now I want to delete the background from this car and I need to go to select inverse. And Now why do I do that? Well if I just press delete the way I had it before, let me go back, if I just press delete now I selected the car so Photoshop thinks I want to delete that. So I need to simply go to select inverse and that will delete my background like so. And then to get out of my selection, control D. And that is pretty much how you use the pen tool. Like I said, I could have done a better job. Just take your time. And um, the pen tool is a really great tool. Just practice with some different curves. Um, the, the best way to get good at the pen tool is practice on objects that have a lot of curves. Um, cars, people. Uh, you can start out with something simple such as maybe a ball or something like that, a can or something. So, like I said, you can download the ebook and uh, get more information on using the pen tool from techblue.org. Hope you found this tutorial useful.